Continuing on, once that um, those electrons hit that tungsten anode, or the target, right? It stops them, it decelerates them. We have two possible interactions here up at the target. So we either have Bremsstrahlung or characteristic. Both of those you will see in these pictures start with an, um, an electron, right? They don't have, they don't start with a wave. They don't start with that polyphoton. They start with an Edward electron. So if I want you to be able to recognize them from these pictures, can you pick them out? Um, I always feel like Bremsstrahlung kind of has this like boomerang shape or um, you're driving your car around a really tight turn. You've got to make it around this center part. And then characteristic um, has that cascade effect where these will move places and then resulting in a photon. All right, so x-ray production. I want you to be able to separate out the interactions in the tube and the interactions at the patient. X-ray production happens in the tube at the anode. So Bremsstrahlung is going to be an electron in, photon out. Okay, it's um, anytime you see the term breaking radiation um, or slowing down, you're going to be Bremsstrahlung all the way, right? It produces x-rays of all energies. It produces 90% of all x-ray production. Um, x-rays below 70 kVp are 100% Bremsstrahlung. Okay, we want to be able to see it by a picture and you want to be able to see it or know it by a definition. Characteristic is also an electron in. Um, it deals with an incident electron that collides with a shell electron, unlike Bremsstrahlung, which is near the nucleus. All right, try to separate those out. It has a cascading hallmark, right? They move places in their shells. Um, the binding energy of tungsten is um, 69.5 or 70 keV. So you'll know that um, if you see 69.5 or 70 keV, that your answer is going to be characteristic radiation 